Sorry, Miss Azuela. Punta, huh? muna kayo dun sa, punta muna kayo dun sa picture na sinend ko sa messenger pala. Mm -mm. Brief introduction lang ng DNA viruses. Okay. So, kung nandiyan na kayo, DNA viruses composes of double-stranded at saka single-stranded. Pag sinabi natin double-stranded, anong ibig sabihin nun? Double, nagpo-form siya ng helix, di ba? Dalawa siya, naka-intertwine. Tapos, meron din namang single-stranded. So, ibig sabihin, isa lang. Isa lang yung hibla ng DNA niya. Okay? Now, sa single-stranded muna tayo. Pag single-stranded, always walang envelope yan. Okay? Lagi siyang naked. So, iisipin ninyo, ang only protection na meron siya ay ang capsid. Wala siyang envelope na magpo-protect sa kanyang uh, DNA component. And then, ang shape nila ay laging icosahedral and never naging circular. Okay? Yung kanilang DNA. Diretso lang siya. Diretso lang. Okay? And isa sa mga example ng uh, or the only single-stranded DNA virus natin ay si parvo virus. And parvo ay usually infection sa mga aso to. Now, punta tayo ngayon sa double-stranded. Meron tayong tinatawag ng mga envelope, meaning may protection yung DNA genomes nila. And then, meron din namang naked. In terms of um, shape na mismo virus, may tinatawag tayong icosahedral. So, may mga icosahedron shape tayo. And meron ding mga complex. Now, Sa icosahedral, may circular din at saka linear. Alam na ninyo yan, yung circular, yung pabilog, yung linear, yung hindi. Yung circular na icosahedral na double-stranded DNA na envelope ay hepadnaviridae. Ang herpes naman, linear icosahedral envelope double-stranded DNA virus. So, kumbaga, pag ikaklassify nyo siya, babasahin nyo siya, pabalik pa. Yan. Okay? Now, for complex, ibig sabihin, hindi natin ma-figure out kung ano yung shape ng mismong virus na yan. Kaya nga siya complex. And usually, linear lang ang ating mga complex na uh, virus, which is si pox viridae. Ito yung sa mga, um, ano natin, mga chicken pox, something like those. Okay? And then, meron tayong tinatawag na naked. Ang mga naked natin, sabi natin, lagi silang icosahedral. And itong mga to ang pinagkaiba niya sa single-stranded, sa double-stranded, ang single-stranded, ay cosahedral sila, pero lahat sila linear. Pero sa double-stranded, hindi always linear itong mga to Meron silang circular and linear. Ang circular ninyo na naked double-stranded DNA ay si Papo virus, yung mga human papilloma virus or mga kulugo. And then, linear yung adenovirus. Okay? Okay, so Miss Az Miss Azuela, pwede ka na mag-proceed. Okay po. So again, um, herpes simplex virus. Um, her herpes viridae is a large family of DNA viruses that cause infection and in certain diseases in animals, including humans. The, uh, the members of this family are also known as herpes viruses. Herpes simplex virus or HSV, known as herpes, is a common infection that can cause painful blisters or ulcer. It primarily spread by skin-to-skin -skin contact. It is um, treatable but not curable. So there are two types of herpes simplex virus. The first one is type 1 or the HSV1, mostly spread by oral contact and causes infection in or around the mouth, oral herbs, or cold source. It can also spread genital herbs and most adults are infected with HSV-1. So the type 2, HSV-2, spreads by sexual contact and causes genital herpes. Most people have no symptoms or mild symptoms. The infection can cause painful blisters or ulcers that can recur over time. Medicine can reduce symptoms but can cure the infection. Um, recurrent symptoms of both oral and genital herbs may be distressing. Genital herbs may also be stigmatizing and have an impact on sexual relationship. However, most people with either kind of herbs adjust to leave the infection. Most people with herbs have no symptoms or only mild symptoms. Many people aren't aware they have the infection and can pass along the virus to others without knowing. Symptoms can include painful, 
blisters, or ulcers. New infections may cause fever, body aches, and swollen lymph nodes. So during their first um in infection, people may experience fever, body aches, sore throat, um headaches, swollen lymph nodes near the infection. People can have repeated outbreaks over time. These are usually shorter and less severe than the first outbreak. Um, HSV testing is usually done as a swab test, blood test, or lumbar puncture. The type of test you get will depend on your symptoms and health history. For a swab test, a healthcare provider will use a swab test to collect fluid and cells from herbs sore. For your treatment of first episode genital herbs, the dose of oral um, acyclovir is 200 mg orally 5 times per day or 400 mg orally 3 times per day. The virus is rep replicates initially in epithelial cells, producing a characteristic vesicle on base. It um, Also, it, uh, it then acids sensory nerves to the dorsal root ganglia where after an initial period of replication, it established uh, latency. During um, reactivation of infection, the virus spreads distantly from the ganglion um, to initiate new or musical lesions. Um, herbs um, viruses have a unique um, next slide oh. so um, herb, herpes viruses have a unique four layered structure a core containing the large double stranded DNA genome is enclosed by isocohedral capsid which is composed of capsomers the capsid is surrounded by amorphous protein um, coat called the tegument. It is encased um, in a glycoprotein bearing lipid bilayer envelope. Transcription, genome replication, and um, capsid assembly occur in the host cell nucleus. Genes are replicated in a specific order. Immediate early genes which encode reg uh, regulatory proteins. Second, early genes which encode enzyme for replicating viral DNA. And number two, and number three is late genes, which encode the structural proteins. The tegumented envelope are acquired as the uh, variant buds out through the nu nuclear membrane or endoplasmic reticulum. Variants are transported to the cell membrane via Golgi complex, and the host cell dies as mature variants are released. Alternatively, in selected cell types, the virus may be maintained in a latent state or the latent viral genome may react um, at any time the mechanism of reaction is not known. Okay, so next disease po is uh, varicella zaster virus. Varicella um, zaster virus, also known as human herpes virus 3 or human alpha herpes virus 3, is one of the moon but one of the most known herpes virus that can infect humans. It causes chicken facts, commonly affecting children and young adults, and shingles in adults, but rarely in children. Um, VZV infections are specific, speci uh, uh, speci uh, specify specific to humans only. So, mahagita natin yung life cycle. Um, Mag start siya yung attachment. Na influenza virus becomes attached to a large epithelial epithelia, epithelia cell. Number two is mapepenetrate siya. The cell engulfs the virus by endocytosis. Pangatlo is yung encoding. Viral um, contents are released. Tapos yung number four is biosynthesis. Uh, viral RNA enters the nucleus where it is um, replaced by the viral RNA polymerase. And then number five is assembly. New page uh, particles are assembled. And number five is released. Uh, new viral particles are made and released into the extracellular fluid. The cell which is not killed in the process continues to make viruses. So the VCV virus consists of nucleocapsid surrounding a core that consists the linear, double-stranded DNA genome. A protein tegument separates the capsid from the leaflet envelope, which incorporates the major viral like coproteins. Um, Varicella zaster is a herpes virus that causes a common childhood illness, like what I said a while ago. It is a 
is highly contagious. If an adult develops chickenpox, the illness may be more severe. After a person has had chickenpox, the Borsella Zaster virus can remain inactive in the body for many years. Anyone who has not had chicken facts or gotten the chicken facts vaccine can get the disease. Chicken facts illness usually lasts about four to seven days. The classic symptoms of chicken fact is a rash that turns into itchy, fluid-filled blisters that eventually turn into scabs. The rash may first show up on the chest, back, and face, and spread over the entire body, including inside the mouth, eyelids, or genital area. It usually takes uh, one week for all the blisters to become scabs. Other typical symptoms that may begin to appear one to two days before rash include um, fever, tiredness, loss of appetite, and headache. Usually, um, children miss five to six days of school or children care due to the chicken fox. Bursalella is high contagious. The virus can be spread from person to person by direct contact, inhalation of aerosols from vascular fluid of skin, lesion, acute bursalella, or disaster, and possibly through the infected respiratory secretion that also may be aerosized. The most sensitive method for confirming a diagnosis for Barcelona is the use of polymerase chain reaction or the PCR to detect the VZV in skin lesion, um, vascular lesion of scabs. If, um, if it's present, the best for something, adults with herpes disaster can be treated with oral isoclavir at a dose of 800 mg five times a day. The recommended dose of intravenous acyclovir for VZV infection is 10 mg every eight hours. Although higher doses are, are sometimes used for life-threatening infection, especially in immunocompromised patients. Next slide. Okay, so, wait. Before kayo okay. mag-focus na ito megalovirus. Um... I have to take, you have to take note na itong mga dinidiscuss ninyo, herpes viridae family lahat sila. Si herpes simplex, si varicella zoster, si cytomegalovirus, Epstein-Barr, human herpes virus, at saka si human herpes virus 8. Now, ang una ninyo diniscuss si herpes simplex virus. So, ibig sabihin, ano yung possible na sakit na pwede nyo ma-associate dyan? Chicken pox usually, di ba? Chicken pox. Ito yung bulutong. Bulutong ninyo. Bulutong. Chicken pox. Ano ang ginawa sa inyo nung nagkaroon kayo ng chicken pox nung bata kayo? La, lang ginawa sa inyo nung bata Maka kayo? isolate sir. Maka-isolate kasi highly contagious tong mga to. So basically, kapag hindi ka nag-isolate, pwede mo mahawaan yung kapwa mo. Now, ah... Uh, Ano pa yung mga ibang sakit na pwedeng maibigay ni herpes simplex virus 1 and 2? Itong mga to, gingivos, tomatitis. Ibig sabihin parang singaw sa gilagin. Okay? Uh, herpetic keratitis. Ibig sabihin nagkakaroon ka ng pagbabalat, nagbabalat ka, that is because of the virus itself. Okay? Pag malala, pwede kang magkaroon ng temporal lobe encephalitis. Pag pumasok na din siya sa mismong uh, brain mo. Okay? Now, paano po natin nakukuha ang ating mga um, herpes simplex virus? Uh, pwede siyang makuha sexually, okay? Pwede siyang makuha sexually or pwedeng direct contact of mucous membrane. Kaya lagi kayong pinag-isolate kasi isa sa mga pwede yung uh, pwede maging mode of transmission ng herpes simplex virus ninyo is pag nadikit kayo doon sa taong may bulutong mismo. Now, ano po yung mga pwede ninyong ibigay na gamot? as a pharmacist pero hindi kayo pwedeng magbibigay pala nito sorry asiclovir asiclovir bala asiclovir from asiclovir at saka trifluoridine eye drops kung uh, 
for corneal infection. Yan. For corneal infection. Yan yung mga um, sakit na chicken pox. Alam naman ninyo yung itsura ng chicken pox, di ba? So, hindi na natin siya kailangan mag-picture. Now, if ever man, napupunta tayo ngayon sa varicella zoster virus, may pinagkaiba ba sila ni chicken pox? Yes, meron po. In terms of yung clinical manifestation niya, hindi siya pwedeng masend dito sa ano eh. Sa... Hindi siya pwedeng masend dito sa... Tawag dyan, sa Zoom. Pero ito yung varicella... VZV. Ayan. Varicella zoster virus. So, kung mapapansin ninyo yan, sinend ko sa messenger, kung mapapansin ninyo siya, akala nyo blister lang siya na may tubig-tubig. Pero, basically, uh, ano siya, para siyang blister na located lang siya sa isang uh, part ng katawan natin. Bakit po siya nasa isang part lang katawan natin? Kasi, itong herpes simplex virus na to at saka varicella zoster virus na to nagta-travel sila through our nerve fibers. Okay? They travel through our nerve fibers in which kapag kunwari nagka-chicken pox ka na before, okay? Nagka-chicken pox ka na before, bibigyan ka ng asiklubir, matutulog na yon yung virus doon sa mismong katawan mo. Now, pag bumaba ang iyong uh, immune system, okay? Pag bumaba ang iyong immune system, then definitely you can see some of them resurfacing. Ngayon, nakakluster sila, okay, nakakluster sila as one like this. So, ibig sabihin, yung virus mo, nagkukumpol sila dyan, kaya dyan sila nagkukos ng infection. Nakakasunod po ba tayo? Nakakasunod? Alam nyo yung difference ng chicken pox sa varicella zoster. Wala kang kausap? Wala. Hindi nyo mag-gets. Yung herpes simplex virus ninyo, that is your chicken pox, di ba? Bakit kayo naka-off cam? Sinabi ko ba mag-off cam kayo? Gusto nyo mag-quiz ngayon? Wala, wala nakagets doon sa sinabi ko kanina kung anong pinagkaiba ng herpes simplex virus sa varicella zoster. Ni isa sa inyo, wala. Lobos, hindi mo nagets? Mika, hindi mo nagets? Sir, yung sa ano, sa varicella zoster virus, iba yung mag-clinical manifestation niya, more on blister like, kasi sa isang part lang siya ng body. Tapos, both po sila nagtatrabal to nerve, nerve fibers. Tapos, kapag mababa yung sa immune system, some will resurface. So, pag nag-resurface siya, magkukumpol. Kaya nagsistay in one place yung manifestation na po. Okay. So, ang pinagkaiba nila ngayon, ang pinagkaiba ng varicella zoster at saka ng chicken pox in terms of their symptoms, merong neuropathic pain ang neuropathic pain ang varicella zoster. Ang varicella zoster, tawag natin dyan ay shingles. Shingles na yan. Now, kung ang chicken pox ninyo, binibigyan lang kayo ng asiklubir before, kapag meron ka ng symptoms ng ganyan, ng shingles or varicella zoster virus mo, bibigyan ka pa dyan ng gabapentin. Natatandaan pa ba yung gabapentin? Gaba receptor agonist? Or neuropathic pain tong mga to? Gabapentin, Or, kung hindi ka naman immunocompromised, pwede ka rin bigyan ng prednisone to relieve the inflammation nung mismong yan. Nakakita na ba kayo na may shingle? So, hindi pa. Hindi pa. Very common yan. Kapag ano, um, nagka-chicken pox na siya, tapos panahon na ulit ng chicken pox, tapos na-infect siya. Yan. Yeah. Yan na yung lalabas. Yan na yung kumbaga parang second second ano mo, episode mo. Usually shingles na. Okay, yun lang naman ang pinagkaiba nila. Ano pa bang 
differences ng Wala naman na. Sige, proceed kayo sa cytomegalovirus. So next, this is po ay cytomegalovirus. Cytomegalovirus is a genus of viruses in, in order to herbs of vir virus in the family herbs viridae in the subfamily of beta herb Virini, humans and other primates serve as natural hosts. The 11 species in this genus include human beta herpes virus 5, which is the species that infect humans. As with all her herpes viruses, HCMV has two life cycle phases, a productive phase where new uh, virons are produced and a latent phase where uh, there is a restricted gene transcription profile and no new uh, variant production. The HCMV variant is composed of an isocahedral capsid that contains a linear to linear 230 kbt double-stranded DNA genome uh, with attachment um, protein and an outer layer of protein called tegument. Surrounded by cellular lipid layer containing viral glycoproteins, cytomegalovirus or CMV is a common virus. Once infected, your body retains the virus for life. Most people don't know they have um, CMV because it's a really cause problem in healthy people. In some cases, infections in healthy people can cause mild illnesses that may include fever, sore throat, fatigue, and swollen guts. Occasionally, CMV can cause mononucle um, mo mononucleosis or hepatitis, hepatitis liver problem. People with a uh, weak immune system who get CMV can have more serious symptoms affecting the eyes, lungs, liver, esophagus, stomach, and intestine. Babies born with CMV can have brain, liver, spleen, lung, and throat problems. The most common long-term health problems in babies born with um, congenital CMV infection is hearing loss, which may be detected soon after birth or may develop later in childhood. People with CMV may pass the virus in body fluids such as saliva, urine, bloody, eye blood, tears, semen, and breast milk. CMV is spread from an infected person in following ways. From direct contact with saliva or urine, especially with babies and young children, through sexual contact, also from the breast milk to nursing infants, and through transplant organs and blood fusion. Blood tests can be used to diagnose CMV infection in adults who have symptoms. However, blood is not best fluid to test newborns with suspected CMV infection. Tests of saliva or urine are preferred for newborns. Healthy people who are infected with CMV usually do not require medical treatment. Medication are available to treat CMV infection in people who have weak immune system and babies with sign of congenital CMV. For babies with sign of congenital CMV infection at birth, antiviral medication, primary val uh, valgansiclovir may improve hearing and de um, development outcomes. Valgansiclovir can have serious side effects and has only studied in, ba in babies with sign of congenital CMV infection. There is limited information on the effectiveness of valgansiclovir to treat infants in hearing loss alone. Okay, so for cytomegalovirus, another type siya ng herpes viridae, and uh, yung morphology, hindi na natin di-discuss kasi binigyan ko na kayo ng table. No? Ang kanilang uh, usual na mode of transmission is kung ang virus ay present sa milk, present sa milk, saliva, urine, or tears, even sa luha. Now, transmission may occur usually ang mga affected dito yung mga children. Okay, pero pwede rin naman yung mga adults. But then, ano po yung mga uh, pwede nating makuhang sakit dito? Usually, um, asymptomatic. Pwedeng hindi ka mag... Asymptomatic. Pwedeng hindi ka magkaroon ng symptoms at all. Carrier ka lang. Meron ka kang cytomegalovirus pero wala kang symptoms. Ang tawag doon ay latent phase. So, ibig sabihin, lahat ng mga... May virus sa katawan pero walang symptom. Ang tawag dyan, asymptomatic infection or latent phase. Now, torches. 
torches. Hindi ko alam kung ano kung torches na to, but this is a congenital congenital disease na pwedeng makuha sa cytomegalovirus. Sabi din kanina, meron din tayong tinatawag na mononucleosis. Mon CMV mononucleosis. Tapos, kapag bumaba ang infection mo, pwede kang magkaroon ng tinatawag nating reactivation. So, kung dati, uh, meron ka ng infection, lumakas yung immune system mo, tapos pag bumaba ulit yung infection mo, pwede kang magkaroon ng uh, reactivation. Okay? And pwede rin ang cytomegalovirus mag-cause ng pneumonia. Another type of the disease na pwedeng maibigay ng cytomegalovirus ay sa mata which is retinitis. Ibig sabihin, namamaga yung iyong retina. Okay? Which can cause blindness in HIV patient. Okay? So, kapag may HIV ka, tapos nagka-cytomegalovirus ka pa, pwede ka mabulag pag namaga yung retina mo. Okay? So, there's a possibility of Uh, blindness. Ano pa? Pwede ka magkaroon ng esophagitis, pwede mamaga yung lalamunan mo, or disseminated disease. Like for example, pwede ka magkaroon ng iba't ibang sakit sa different parts ng katawan mo depending on the location kung saan pupunta yung virus mo. Okay? So, sabi din dito sa treatment, hindi naman daw usually Um, pwede, hindi naman daw usually nagbibigay ng gamot kapag viral. Kaya di ba kapag may ubo kayo usually, kapag clear naman yung plema, okay, hindi kayo nagbibigay ng treatment kasi self-limiting ang mga virus natin. Okay? Self-limiting sila, so not necessarily mean na nagkaroon ka ng viral infection, eh bibigyan ka na kagad ng gamot. Hindi. Ang gagawin nyo lang, palalakasin nyo lang yung immune system nyo because your immune system can actually brush off itong mga virus na pumapasok sa katawan natin. Pero kapag ano yan, mga sexually transmitted disease, definitely hindi. Okay? Now, ano yung mga possible drugs na pwedeng mariseta sa patients na may uh, cytomegalovirus? Gansiclovir. Pwede tayo magbigay ng gansiclovir. Postcarnet. Sidofovir. Sidofovir if um, HIV patient yung magte-take. Okay, Sidofovir. Uh, for me, Virsen. For, for me, Virsen. Okay. Ito mga to. Pero, ang Valgansiclovir, Valgansiclovir, This is your drug of choice for patients na okay, DOC for patients infected with CMB na nag-undergo ng organ transplant. So pag nagpa, kunwari, si Edulsa, nagpa uh, kidney transplant siya. And then dahil mababa ang immune system niya, okay, mababa ang immune system niya, nagkaroon ngayon siya ng infected ng cytomegalovirus. Ang ibibigay sa kanya ay valgan cyclovir. Hindi acyclovir, hindi foscarnet, hindi sidopovir, valgan cyclovir. Okay? Okay, wala naman na akong ibang idadagdag dyan. O sige, proceed tayo ngayon sa Epstein Bar. So now let's discuss the Epstein Barr. So Epstein Barr virus, this is a virus also known as lymphocryptovirus or human herp herp herpes virus 4. So ito yung causative agent ng infectious mononucleosis. So ano ba tong ano infectious mononuc mononucleosis na ito. So isa tong viral disease kung saan may swelling of leaf glands and prolonged lasit lassitude or weakness. So, punta naman tayo sa structure ng Epstein-Barr virus. So, katulad ng herpes viruses, yung 
yung Epstein-Barr virus, meron siyang toroid shape protein core na nag, uh, may nakarap na DNA. Tapos, meron din siyang nucleol capsid na may ano, 162 capsomeres. Meron din siyang protein tegument between nung nucle nucleocapsid. Tapos, meron din siyang envelope and an outer envelope na may external glycoprotein spikes. So, ano ba ang life cycle ng Epstein virus bar? So, kapag ang EBV, uh, yung Epstein bar virus, ay nag-infect sa new cells, whether B cells or T cells or epithelial cells, may dalaw siyang pathway, either latent or lytic. Sa latent, kapag latent yung viral genome, magsisip in lang siya sa nucleus and yung small subset of viral genes niya ay magta-transcribe. Yung mga nag-transcribe, ang mangyayari, mag-stay alive sila and proliferate instead na mamatay sila, mamatay sila after normal lifespan. So, ang ginagawa nila, dinadaw nila yung regulation ng apoptosis. apoptosis. Ang apoptosis, pag sinabing apoptosis, ito yung process na normal lang if mamatay si cell. And tinataas nila yung regulation ng proliferative pathways. So, this is their way para makapag-survive. Pero, um, yung sa tutotic T cells, ay makikilala pa rin niya yung infected cells and pepatayin ito. Pero may mga nakaka- takas pa rin na latently infected and yun yung nagsusurvive pa rin. So, ang DNA niya is double-stranded um, um, DNA virus. So, next naman is yung symptoms niya. So, after an incubation period ng 30 to 50 days, meron, magkakaroon ng symptoms na headache, fever, malaise, fatigue, and sore throat sore throat. So, yung sinabi ko nga kanina, merong swollen leaf nodes sa neck, tapos meron din siyang enlargement ng spleen. And yung some patients niya, nagde-develop siya ng, hepat ng signs of hepatitis kasi nagsiswollen din yung liver niya. Ang epidemiology naman nitong EBV, uh, most commonly, um, yung mode of transmission niya is through bodily fluids, especially saliva. So, pwede siyang hand, hand mouth, hand eye or mouth to mouth contact um however yung ebv pwede rin siyang mas spread through blood and semen during sexual contact may pwede rin siya sa blood transfusion and organ transplantation and usually ang ebv is um nagiiinitiate yung infection niya sa oropharynx um and primary and primary infection then in children are usually subclinical. Pero kapag nag-occur siya sa young adults, mag pwede sila magkaroon ng acute infectious mononucleosis. Ang diagnostic test naman niya is pwede siyang molecular detection. Sa molecular detection na to, like PCR assays for EVB, so dito, yung viral DNA, uh, madedetect niya yung mga virus in blood, bloody fluids, and tissues. Sunod naman, pwede rin siyang maging um, Epstein bar virus antibody, tinetest natin dito yung um, blood natin para madetect kung may antibodies ba tayo ng Epstein bar virus or EBV. Sunod naman is isolation of virus. So, EBV can be isolated from saliva, peripheral blood, or lymphoid tissue by immortalization of normal hum human lymphocytes. Um, usually, na-obtain siya from umbilical cord, umbilical cord blood. Pero sobrang time-consuming na ito kasi 6 to 8 weeks siya. Last naman is yung serology. Uh, ang pinaka-common na procedures for detection of EBV antibodies ay yung enzyme-link immunosorbent assays, immunoblot, immunoblot assay, and indirect immunofluorescence test kung saan gagamit tayo ng EBV-positive lymphoid cells. And ang first-line treatment naman nito, um, yung EBV, wala siyang available na vaccine, pero meron naman tayong um, acyclovir na nagre-reduce siya ng EBV shredding from the oropharynx during the period of um, drug administration. Next slide po. Okay, wait lang. So, wala kayong ibang tatandaan sa Epstein-Barr virus kung hindi yung infectious mononucleosis. Yun lang. Wala kayong ibang tatandaan dyan. Siya yung causative agent ng infectious mononucleosis. Okay? O, sige, next slide.
Next naman na disease natin is human herpes virus 6. So yung human herpes virus 6 or HHV6, ito yung herp um ito yung herpes virus na nagkakos ng roseola infantum, also known as as Essentima subitum or six diseases in infants and children. Dati tinatawag to as baby measles kasi present siya lagi by the age of two. So ang structure nitong HHV6, um, meron siyang virion particle na may ka characteristic structure of herpes virus with the central core containing nung ng viral DNA. Meron din siyang isocohedral iso capsid and meron din siyang protein-rich tag tegument layer na nasusurround ng membrane. Tapos meron din siyang viral glycoproteins. Ang DNA niya rin is double-stranded DNA. So, ano ba ang life cycle nitong human herpes virus 6? Meron siyang walo. Yung step 1 niya is binding. So, magbabind si HHV6 using specific envelope vi viral glycoproteins. And ang sunod naman dito is N3, yung step Two. Yung HHV6, mag-e-enter siya, mag -enter siya ng cell via fusion through receptor-mediated endocytosis. Step 3 naman is release a nuclear, nuclear transport. So, bali, yung HHV6 is mag a na. Tapos yung nucleocapsid and tegument proteins, mag -re release siya sa cytoplasm. Tapos yung nucleocapsids are transported via cytoskeletal structures or diffusion to the nucleus. And next step is step 4, nuclear entry, yung viral genome ng HHV6 kasama yung mga viral proteins like nung um, tegument proteins, e-enter na siya ngayon sa nucleus via nuclear pores and viral genome ay magsisirculize na. Next is step 5, yung gene expression um, kasi pagkakaroon tayo ng immediately early viral genes, early vi viral genes, and late viral genes, genes which is ma-express na. So, yung bawat set ng mRNAs are transported to the cytoplasm and then doon magta-translate siya into protein bago bumalik to the nucleus and bago mag-initiate ng next set of viral genes. And step 6 which is yung DNA replication na, yung early viral gene expression initiates viral DNA replication, yung kanina sinabi ko. And step 7 is packaging. Yung late viral structural proteins, mag assemble na siya into viral capsids and they are packaged with DNA. And yung last step, which is yung egress, yung pag-alis nila. So, bali yung viral pro progeny, bud through the inner nuclear membrane and, and, and enter the enter intermembrane space, yung virions, yung nakaka-infect na talaga ay ita-transport na sa nuclear um, associated endoplasmic reticulum and, and are transported to the cellular plasma membrane where they are released via cell fusion, exocytosis, or cellular lysis. And ang DNA niya is double-stranded DNA. So ano ba tong, um next is mga symptoms? Ano ba yung mga symptoms ng HH? V6. So, high fever follow, followed by macular body rush sa torso na magi spread siya sa arms, legs, back, and face. So, yung rush na to usually only lasts for hours but in some cases, persistent siya for several days. So, yung ibang children naman, nagkakaroon sila ng seizures associated with high fever but more often, yung fever na yun, ina Lang sil, accompanied siya ng decrease in appetite, mild cough, and a runny nose. Um, however, yung HHV6, pwede siyang mag-occur ng fever without rush or rush without fever. Ang next naman is yung epidemiology niya through aerosol. So, ang mode of transmission ng HHV6 is via oral secretions then. So, it is estimated that more than 90% ng children older than age 1 and yung mga adults are virus positive. So, yung HHV6 typically nag-occur siya sa early childhood. And yun nga, yung infection is not persist for life. So, even though uncommon siya sa adult, may reactivation pa rin na mag appear Most common siya sa transplant patients saka during pregnancy. 
Next is diagnostic test. Ano ba yung mga diagnostic test na pwede? Immunofluorescence test for serum antibodies, saka PCR assays for viral DNA in saliva or blood cells. Ang first line treatment naman nito is almost never require siya ng medical treatments. Madalas, hindi pa namamalaya ng mga parents na infected pala si baby sa sakit na to. So, wala rin siyang vaccine available, pero kung um, linalaglat, linalagnat na ng sobra, pwede magbigay ng antipyretics like acetaminophen or ibuprofen. And yung mga individuals na may HHV6 infection na nagmamanifest na rin ng CNS involvement, like including um febrile seizures kailangan na siyang ma-admit sa hospital. Okay. Sinend ko yung picture sa Messenger ng Rosiola. Ah uh, lagi ninyong tatandaan na ang her human herpes simplex virus 6 or herpes virus 6 sa baby or sa mga infants lang siya nag occur Hence yung exantum subitum. So lagi ninyong tatandaan Rosiola positive agent HHV6. Okay? Proceed tayo ng HHV8. Next naman po is human herpes virus 8 or HHV8. Also called siya as KSHV. So, first detected siya noong 1994 in Kaposi sarcoma specimens. So, basically, ito yung virus na nag- kokos ng Kaposi sarcoma and it is usually seen sa mga patient na may AIDS. So, ano ba yung Kaposi sarcoma? This is a type of cancer na nag-form ng lining of blood and lymph vessels. So, next naman, dito naman tayo sa basic um, structure ng HHV8. So, ito, highly organized siya ng icosahedral shaped nucleo um, capsid na nagkakunti ng linear and double-stranded DNA genome. And ang Life cycle naman ni um, HHV8 is um, bit, uh, nage exist din siya between lytic and latent, which allows the virus to transition between active replication and quiescent infection, meaning inactive. Ang DNA naman niya is double-stranded DNA. Ang symptoms naman na mararanasan natin sa HHV8 is... Um, most individuals pwede yung asymptomatic. And yung immunocompetent children and organ transplant recipients may um, um, develop primary infection, which is fever, rash, lymphadenop lymphadenopathy, and bone marrow failure. Ang kanyang epidemiology naman niya, ang mode of transmission niya is with oral secretions like saliva naman. Ayun yung pinaka- common. Pero ang virus na to can also be transmitted sexually and by blood and through organ transplant. And yung viral DNA na to na HHV8 na detect siya sa breast milk sample sa Africa. Ang diagnostic test naman nito is viral DNA can be detected in patient specimen using PCR assays and serologic assays including indirect immunofluorescence Western blood and enzyme link immunos immunosorbent assay formats. And kanyang first line treatment naman is for Castnet, Famciclovir, Gancyclovir, and Sidofovir. Ito yung mga ano, may activity against HHV8 virus. Okay, so last part ng herpes viridae is HHV8. So, Epstein Bar yung infectious mononucleosis, Roseola yung HHV6, HHV8 appears to be the cause of Kaposi sarcoma. So kapag may nakita kayo sa exam ninyo na Kaposi sarcoma, ano na yan? HHV8 na yan agad. Okay? So that concludes our herpes viridae. Pupunta tayo ngayon sa pox viridae. Now, ah uh, I would like to commend you, Ms. Anobling, nag-improve ang reporting skills mo compared with the bacterial infectious disease mo. Very good. Hence, I am giving you plus two direct to final exam. Pakitake note na lang yan, ha? Kasi baka mamaya makalimutan ko. Pakilagay po, po, sir. Ha? Lagay mo, final exam. Baka 40% ko ilagay yung plus mo na yan. Sige. 
Fox Berry Day. Hello. So, Fox Berry Day. So, the name derives from Anglo-Saxon fox, meaning pouch, referring to their characteristic, which is yung vesicular skin lesions nga. So, yung replication kasi, it occurs entirely within the cell cytoplasm. So, yung um, fox viridae, some are pathogenic for humans, including diseases such as yung smallpox, vaccinia, moles, concentia, contagiosum, and others that are pathogenic for animals. Like yung common cowpox and monkeypox virus. So, yun nga, um, recall lang natin na um, yung cowpox virus, nagkaroon siya ng first vaccine by Edward Jenner in its immunization last 1796. So, there are many diseases that are caused by the pox viridae family. So, the three main subfamilies in pox virus that affects humans are those... Um, Orthopox virus, parapox virus, and yung yatapox virus na commonly found siya in Africa. So yung cowpox virus kasi infects reservoir holes. Reservoir meaning habitat, di ba? Then like in bank walls, which is yung microtus agrestis, example ng pox, pox virus. And domestic cattle, which is yung causative agent. Agent niya is yung Bostorus na commonly found siya sa cattle or sa beef. So, kapag yung cow or yung cattle mo is infected with the Bostorus virus, then yung tao nakakain ng beef na yon, pwede siyang matransmit yung pathogen, yung matransmit yung virus sa tao na yon. So, ang basic virus structure ng pox virus is it is large, brick shaped or ovoid viruses. Um, 220 to 415 nanometers long, 140 to 260 nanometers wide, and 140 to 260 nanometers thick. So, yung particle structure nga is complex with a lipid containing envelope. So, ito si Pax Viridae, siya yung isa sa mga complex um, DNA virus. So, the life cycle of Pax virus is first, magbabayan siya sa receptor on the host cell surface. Then, the receptors for Pax virus are thought to be glyco glycosaminoglycans. Then, after binding to that specific receptor, e-enter na siya sa cell. So, yung virus, pagka-enter sa cell, mag uncoat siya. Tapos, yung outer mem membrane niya muna yung una ma-uncoat. Then, mara-replicate na yung outer membrane na yun. Usually, it takes 12 hours, approximately, bago mamatay yung host cell because nag-release na yung viruses, which is Pax Viridae. So, for the DNA of Pox virus, the genome is linear, covalently closed, and double-stranded DNA. So, ang Pox virus particles contain about 100 proteins such as DNA-dependent RNA polymerase. So, for the epi epidemiology of Pox virus, ang common sources kasi ng infection nito is respiratory secretions and exudates from skin lesions, and the disease was most frequently transmitted by inhaling respiratory droplets from patients with smallpox. So, kapag nagka-fever ka na, yung mga individuals that are highly infected ay makakahawa na siya ng ibang tao sa first week pa lang na meron silang rashes na symptoms. So, ayan, common symptoms na makikita mo kapag affect, um, infected ka na with Pax Viridae or Pax Virus is fever, chills, swollen lymph nodes, meaning mababa na immune system mo, exhaustion, pagod ka na, and headache, muscle ache, back ache, and yun nga, commonly respiratory symptoms. Next is yung diagnostic test of Pax Virus. Ma-isolate mo yung virus na to through cell culture. So, from specical from clinical specimens, yung human and non-human primate cells such as monkey kidney and hella cells employed sila in cell culture. Next naman, via embryonated egg, yun yung inoculation of vesicular fluid into the chick's embryo's central apical membrane, which is yung cam. So, reliable method kasi to for detecting.
detecting and identifying variola virus. And after 48 to 72 hours ng inoculation, nagkakaroon na ng distinctive box kasi galing nga siya sa uh, Anglo-Saxon derivative which is yung pouch. Yun na yung classification niya na ah, pox viridate or pox virus na yung nakita nilang um, specimen. So, next is Rehydration is the key for ano, treatment ng pox virus kasi nalaman ko na um, since 17th century eradicated na sa USA and other countries ang smallpox virus kasi nga vaccinated na ang mga tao to counter that specific virus. So ngayon, pwede mo na siyang um, matreat without medical intervention basta treated ka. So, next is yung Papovaviridae Canon. Um, wait lang. Yung sa, ano, sa Boss Taurus, pakilagay sa chat natin, Miss Kat Bonton. Wala din siya sa notes kung college. Boss Taurus Cattel, ano to? Anong meron kasi ulit dito? Kasi, sir, yung um, Pax virus, uh, may infect ka yung tao na kumain ng beef or yung kaw na infected ng Pax virus. Galing siya sa Boss Taurus, yung causative agent niya. Okay. Possible lumabas sa birds. Okay, sige, next. Papova Viridae. Yan. So, next is Papova Viridae, which is, this family contains a single single kanina, double-stranded. Ngayon, sing single genus designated polyoma virus. Kasi um, dati, daw, tawag sa kanya, according dun kay, ano, kay Stefan's book, um, dating tawag sa kanya, Papova Viridae. Pero ngayon, um, kasali na siya sa part ni polyoma virus. So, hindi na kasi nag-exist ngayon yung Papova Viridae na term. Yun na siyang polyoma virus. So, small viruses to that possess a circular genome of double-stranded DNA and close within a non-enveloped capsid. So, um, naked siya, capsid lang yung protection niya, exhibiting a icosahedral symmetry. So, ay kosahidyal din siya. So, yung cellular histones nito are used to condense viral DNA inside the virus the virus particles. So, this polio, polioma virus, simple DNA containing viruses siya that, possess, that possesses a limited amount of genetic information. Mga 6 to 7 genes lang yung meron tong polioma virus. Then, multiple species na identify ng virus nito including yung tumor virus kapag um, in-isolate mo siya. So, yung life cycle naman ng um, polioma virus which is Papova viridae then is first attachment. So, attach muna si virus sa uh, um, host niya, sa susceptible host, then undergo siya ng penetration, then dun siya mag-exhibit ng endocytosis. Endo meaning sa loob siya. So, yun yung process where yung cell mo ina-absorb niya external material tapos ine-engulf niya ito within the cell membrane. So, then the virus will uncoat and will proceed in DNA replication. After ng replication, RNA transcription and protein translation, yun na yung RNA to, um, RNA to proteins. Then, assembly ng virions. Itong assembly ng virions, ano to? Parang nagsama-sama lang yung mga virus. Sa late phase siya ng viral life cycle, sama-sama yung mga virus. Kinuha niya lahat ng mga virus para mag-form ng mature virion at a particular site lang in the cell. Tapos ayan na, nagawa na yung basic structure ng virus particle. Then after that, pwede na mamatay yung virus kapag nag-undergo siya ng cell lysis. O yan, patay na siya. So next is the epidemiology of Papova viridae. So, dito, ang um, nakita ko is BK and JC types of polyoma virus. Widespread daw siya. During childhood and 70 to 80% of adults kasi may antibodies na. So, kapag di ka vaccinated, most likely may infect ka ng Papova viridae. So, ang route of transmission nito is unknown pero um, susceptible or ang um, isip nila um, respiratory virus per means. So, um, after nito, yung human viruses, wala siyang animal reservas and so, small percentage lang ng human ang nagpo-possess ng antibodies to SB40 which is a simian virus. Unknown din siya, yung mechanism of exposure. Kaya ano lang nila, spectacle lang nila na respiratory yung root of 
um, transmission. So, paano natin madedetect yung papobability? So, madedetect natin siya via, via viral DNA in suspect by polymerase, polymerase chain reaction or yun no acid hybridization. Yung tissues and body fluids may be exampled by electron microscopy to detect the papovirus particles. Then, so, at during the hyperdetonation inhibition test, para magnooks mo yung GC and BK, BK virus infections. So, yung treatment for um people infected by papuri day is surgical therapy kasi may nabasa ko about sa mostly kidney yung um the target ng papova virus so kapag um, gusto mo matanggal na yung virus na na nag nag penetrate sa body mo it's either surgical therapy pag malala na then application of caustic agents or chemotherapy in turn Pero, mabent mo siya and control infection and sexual transmission through sexual intercourse. Pero, wala kasing vaccine yet ang papova viride. Okay. Um, additional lang for papova viride. Papova viride, under dito yung, uh, under dito yung tinatawag nating virus na human papiloma virus which is also known as HPV na nagkukos ng warts. Okay? So, meron tayong mga tinatawag na human papilloma virus um, genomes na iba-iba. Like for example, kapag meron kang common warts, common warts, ang genome ng, A ng HPV mo ay HPV1, HPV2, HPV4, and HPV7. Yan yung nag-cause. Pag meron ka genital warts, usually itong mga genital warts na to, common in female, and then ito ay sexually transmitted disease. Okay, genital warts. Nagkakaroon ka ng kulugo either sa anus, yung sa lining ng anus mo, and then sa vagina. Now, Ang mga types ng HPV na nagkukos nito ay 6, 11, 16, and 18. Madami kasing variant talaga yung uh, human papilloma virus. Okay? Tapos kapag ang larynx mo naman ang nagkaroon ng warts, tawag natin doon ay laryngeal warts, ang nagkos nun ay 6 and 11. Okay, pag penil, yung kototoy ng lalaki, vulvar sa ano, pempem naman ng babae, and then cervical sa babae din to, and kapag cancerous type, okay, cancerous type yung human papilloma virus, itong mga uh, variant 16, 18, 31, and 33. Ito usually yung mga nagkukos Okay? Usually, ang mga, just like me, ang mga lalaki, men that are homosexual, that are homosexual, are prone to anal warts. Buti naman ako, wala akong anal warts ever. Okay? And then, um, ano pa ba? BK, BK, or... Meron pang isang type ng virus under Papova viridae which is CBK polyoma virus. Okay? Which causes kidney disease in renal transplant patient. Nagkukos din to ng hemorrhagic cystitis. O, di ba puro siya sa ano puro siya sa kidney cystitis in bone marrow transplant patient and then meron pang isa kung meron tayong BK meron din naman tayong tinatawag na JC virus which is si JC polyma virus okay 
eto positive agent to ng progressive leukoencephalopathy. Yan. Yan yung mga, yan yung tatlong virus na meron tayo sa ating Papova Viridae. Uh, human papilloma virus. And then, meron tayong tinatawag na BK polioma virus at saka JC polioma virus. Ah, padagdag pala, sorry, nakalimutan ko yung medical term for genital warts. Ang medical term for genital warts is condylomata acuminata. That is the medical term for genital warts. Usually, paano po tinatanggal tong mga warts na to? Okay, baka magtaka kayo. Paano ba tinatanggal yan? Hindi naman niya makukuha minsan sa uh, gamot. Usually, pinapatigas yan with the use of liquid nitrogen para matanggal siya. Pag tumigas siya, tatanggalin na lang siya bigla. Uh, pwede ring laser. Pwede siyang laser. Pwede ring uh, lagyan siya ng podophylline. Alam nyo ba yung podophylline? Podophylotoxin? Podophylline para mawala yung warts na yon. And this is usually for genital warts. And then, kapag meron ka namang warts sa balat mo, di ba meron tayo mga tinatawag na um, salicylic acid salicylic acid patch. Mm -mm. Yung mga keratolytic agents natin na nilalagay natin sa balat natin. Pero parang hindi naman yata ganun ka-effective ang salicylic acid warts ang salicylic acid patch. Kasi may kulugo ako dito sa likod ng uh, aking right, ano ba to? Right leg. Tapos trinay ko naman siya. Wala lang. Magpeklat lang siya. Hindi naman siya natanggol. Pero hindi totoo na may mata ang kulugo ha. Hindi yan katulad ng pigsa na may mata. Nakakaloka. Parang sabi yata ng mga matatanda may mga mata daw yan. Pero hindi naman. Wala namang mata yan. Okay. Last two virus, adenoviridae and parboviridae. So, ayun. Adenoviruses from Latin adenos, meaning gland, are medium-sized, non-enveloped viruses with fiber spikes. So, the genome is linear, double-stranded DNA, and yung replication nito occurs in the nucleus. So, kanina, cytoplasm, dito, nucleus. Complex splicing patterns produce mRNAs. So, at least 67 types infect humans, especially in the mucous membranes. And some types can persist in lymphoid tissue. So, ang adenoviruses kasi can cause acute respiratory diseases and conjunctivitis and gastroenteritis. So, the life cycle of adenovirus involves three major stages, like infection, replication, and multiplication. So, at the time of infection, adenovirus is a multiplication of occur naman siya sa host cell nucleus. Dito, magkuproduce na ng copies of viral progenies by hijacking the whole cell machinery. So, for the multiplication naman, stage of adenovirus, it involves the early and late phase. Dito, nagkuproduce yung um, early and late gene products. Um, Nag-help kasi yung early and late gene products in the regulation and synthesis of virion structural components. Then after the multiplication process, yung virus particles mag assemble and release from the whole cell, causing lysis ng virus or cell death. So, ang adenovirus kasi in may infect the whole cells via respiratory droplets, close contact, and fecal oral route. So, after entering the host cell, yung virus, ina-attack na yung buko epithelial cells. Later, yung causes ng direct cell damage ay magiging sa eye, gastrointe gastrointestinal tract, and upper and lower respiratory tract yung ina-attack niya ng virus na yun kapag may infection. Kaya yung symptoms dito is fever, sore throat, congested runners, which is um, symptoms of respiratory tract infections, diarrhea, pink eye, 
skin yung kapag may conjunctivitis ka na and ear infection. So, link, um, so the, ayun, uh, mai-spread mo to through person-to-person -person contact by shaking hands, kissing, or hugging. Yung air, makakaspread ng virus kapag nag-sneeze or cough yung ibang tao. Tapos, pwede rin siya matransfer through surfaces and objects kapag tinatch mo yung contaminated surface or um, particular object na yon pwede mo malagay sa mukha mo, eyes, ears, mouth, and nose before washing your hands. Then, pwede rin siya sa stools, which is yung, which is yung pieces, um, Baya, kapag umeat yung ano, infected na tao, may spread siya. O kaya pag nag-change ka ng diaper ng baby mo. Tapos, the water, may infect mo yung, makaka-infect ka sa water through unchlorinated water. Kunwari, yung tao na yon na infected ng adenovirus, nag-swim sa swimming pool. Tapos, yung chlorine, hindi sapat, yung hindi pinapalitan, hindi nililinisan. So, makaka-spread siya ng virus pag may pag-infected siya ng adenovirus. Pero hindi naman yan common. So, yung diagnostic test naman for adenovirus is PCR testing. Accessible, accessible siya to clinicians by using multi-pathogen PCR test. Yun yung single respiratory or stool specimen for adenovirus and other common respiratory or enteric pathogen. So, kunin, may collection ng stool. Ganon. Then, treatment ng adenovirus, wala siya masyadong um, specific treatments, pero kasi yung infections, mild and ano lang, symptom relief lang para sa treatment. So, pwede mo itong matreat via OTC, fever reducers, and pain relievers. Tsaka, make sure to drink plenty of water, tsaka matulog ka ng matulog. Then, yung antiviral medications, yun yung kapag malala na yung adenovirus mo. Um, pero pag healthy ka naman, di mo na kailangan ng antiviral medications. Antibiotics, hindi siya gumagana sa adenovirus. Kaya kapag may severe or um, weakened immune system ka, make sure na magpa-check up ka muna. Baka kasi kailangan mo ng treatment sa hospital. And makarecover maka ka sa serious infection. Kasi in rare cases, pwede ka bigyan ng treatment via um, sidofovir and rivavirin, which is antiviral medications. Okay. So for adenoviri day, uh, nasabi ni Ms. Gatbonton na hindi naman kailangan magbigay ng gamot dyan sa mga yan. Bakit? Kung mapapansin nyo nyo, naked icosahedral DNA virus siya. So basically, pag uh, nalabanan siya ng immune system, agad naman masisira yung DNA component ng ating virus. So basically, self-limited siya. Okay? And usually, ang mga sakit ng adenovirus ay sa mga bata nagmumula. Okay? Pa-chat ako nga ulit dito na naka-everyone. Sorry. Okay, yan. Yeah. Thank you. So, ang um, adenovirus, usually, sa mga children, nag, children yung mga yan, ang na-infect. Usually, ang mga sakit na nakukuha nila, rhinitis, sore throat, fever, uh, conjunctivitis. Ang conjunctivitis ninyo ay sore eyes. Okay? Uh, pink eye or tinatawag natin siyang epidemic keratoconjunctivitis pero sa mga bata pa din yan and sometimes it may cause epidemic diarrheal epidemic diarrheal illness in infants and children so usually sa mga bata yan magbibigay po ba kayo ng antiviral na acyclovir hindi bibigyan niyo lang siya ng pang Hydration, kung sakali man nagdadayariya siya. Okay? Kaya self-limited yan. So, wala naman tayo masyadong kailangan tandaan sa adenoviridae kung hindi pang bata itong virus na ito. Okay? So, next. And the last is parvoviridae. Okay. For the last, uh, last disease, deny virus that we have is parvoviridae. So, parvoviridae, this is a diverse family of a small single-stranded DNA viruses. 
which was established in 1975. So, ang parvo natin, kaling ka sa Latin na parvus, ang meaning ng parvus is small, kaya siya ano, uh, small finger stranded. And um, yung particle size niya is about 18 to 26 nanometer. And yung particles niya is um, cubic symmetry with 32 capsimer, pero wala silang envelope. And the genome is linear and meron single stranded DNA. So sa, um, when it comes to, it also, I, it's also known as a pathogenic for humans and has a tropism for enteroid progenitor cells. It is the cause of erythema infection, infectionism, or, or also known as fifth disease. So, um, replication occurs only in actively dividing cells, and capsid assembly takes place in the nucleus of the infected cell. So, yung parvovirus B19 nagreplicate sa in immature, um, in immature uh, erythroid cells, and nagkakos siya ng mga several adverse consequences, katulad na rin ng aplastic crisis, etong fish disease, and mga fetal death, a fetal death. So, um, there are two subfamilies of parboviridae, yung parboviridae, which infects mga vertebrates, and the uh, densovirinae, which infect mga, uh, mga insects. So here, um, yung mga parboviridae, nagkakopromise siya ng five genera, which is yung human parvovirus B19, at yung pinaka-common member ng erythro parvovirus genus. Meron ding um, three human boca viruses, ayun yung mga boca viruses genus, um, Pilin panlo, panloscopenia virus, and also yung kanin parvovirus. So both both sila is serious causes ng mga veterinary diseases. They are also classified ano, as member ng mga protoparvovirus. Proto and they are also isolated from many other animals. And so for um, kanilang repli uh, rep replication cycle, Ang um, parvoviridae, it is very difficult to culture human B19 parvovirus only because um, your primary erythroid um, progenitors are known to be permitted for um, for parvoviridae 19 injection. So yung um, parvovirus natin are highly dependent or on cellular function for replication. So viral DNA replication occurs only in the nucleus. Um, Kasi yung parvovirus natin, walang ability to simulate uh, resting cells para mag-initiate ng DNA synthesis. So, um, they must ano, infect dividing cells. One or more cellular DNA polymerase ang kailangan ma-involve. So, yung mga non-structural protein, yung NS1, is required siya for um, virus replication. There are also uh, two capsid protein, which is yung viral replication na nag-result sa mga cell death natin. So for the symptoms of parvoviridae, ang symptoms nito is swallow, swollen and or painful joints, more, more common sa mga adults, fatigue, low-grade fever, headache, upset stomach. And for diagnostic uh, test naman, the most sensitive test detects viral DNA Available test dito yung mga polymerase chain reaction or PCR, um, probe hydro, uh, hybridization of serum or tissue extract, and yung mga um, fixed tissues natin. So, ang PCR ay yung mga most sensitive assay. And yung B19 DNA natin has been detected in serum, blood cells, tissue samples, and respiratory secretion. So, ayun yung mga kailangan natin to test if we have... Um, um, if we have uh, parvoviridae. So for the ay nagtalan ako ng ano, sa transmission. So for the um, transmission muna sa epidemiology, ang um, uh, B19 virus is widespread siya. Yung infection niya nag-occur nag throughout the year in all age group and also outbreak siya as tragic cases. So yung infection na to, common to sa mga outbreaks sa mga school, um, yung parvovirus din common dito sa mga childhood, yung mga antibody kasi most often nagdedevelop siya sa mga edad na um, 5 to 19 years old. So ang um, B19 infection seems to be trans transmitted 
via the respiratory tract, the viruses are stable in the environment and contaminated surface may also be involved in transmission. So transfer among siblings and children in schools and their daycare center is the main um, path ng transmission na to. Yung source ng maternal infection during pregnancy naman is um, open naman sa mother, mother's older child. Many uh, infection din na to are subclinical. Sub Ang estimate ng attack rate na to is susceptible contact range from 20 to 15%. And also, ang transmission ng D19 from patients with a plastic crisis to uh, members of the hospital staff, merong documented doon about regarding that. And ang mga patients with a plastic crisis are likely to be um, infectious during ng course ng illness nila. And yung mga patients naman na may fist disease, they probably no longer infectious sila by the time na nag-onset na yung mga rashes sa kanila. And uh, kami na nga sa diagnosis test, yung most sensitive nila is yung DNA, yung PCR, and yung DNA has been detected in serum, blood cells, tissue samples, and also um, respiratory secretion nila. Kasi ang um, buka virus DNA, napapound naman siya sa mga serum, um, saliva, pwede rin sa stool samples, and yung mga um, respiratory specimen natin. And also, tinetest din dito ang um, uh, serologic assay you know, perform din also to determine yung mga recent and also yung past exposure natin sa parvovirus B19. So for the first line treatments ng, ng virus ay ng deny viruses na to is um, fish disease and transient aplastic crisis are treated symptomatically. Ang severe anemia due to the latter may require transfusion therapy. Um, commercial immoglobin prepare, preparation contains uh, neutralizing antibodies sa mga human human parvovirus. So, um, this can sometimes uh, ameliorate persis persistent to um, B19 and infection in immunocompromised patients. In those with anemia naman, there is no treatment for um, human human Boca virus infection. Okay, for the last DNA virus, itong parvoviridae, alam naman natin na infective to sa mga dogs pero it can also be infective in humans so for parvoviridae they are known to be the smallest dna virus alam naman na natin yan kasi nga uh, single stranded lang sila and then um yung dalawang sakit na ipo-formalize natin pero sinabi din naman siya ng Miss Icardo erythema infectiosum Okay, or also known as the fifth disease. Uh, itong sakit na to, this actually affects the children between uh, the ages of 4 to 12. Okay, so kapag 13 years old na yung bata and above, hindi na siya prone na magkaroon ng erythema infectioso. Ano po ba yung symptoms nito? Fever plus slap cheeks, slap cheek rash. So parang uh, nilalagnat siya tapos kung makikita niyo yung mukha niya para siyang sinampal ng ano malakas kasi ano siya parang ganun sa sa cheeks siya nag ano. And then the last one na sakit is transient aplastic anemia. That is the specific anemia na nagkukos ng parvoviridae. Okay? Ah uh, Although this uh, diseases yung ano yung erythema infectioso at saka yung transient plastic anemia they are self limited so kahit hindi tayo magbigay ng gamot pwede naman pero uh, kung talagang nagkaroon ka na ng a plastic crisis a plastic crisis ibig sabihin this is a form of um transient plastic anemia na medyo emergency na siya Okay, sobrang baba na ng dugo mo because of this virus. You can give IV or intravenous immunoglobulin. Okay, intravenous immunoglobulin or IVIG. Yan, IVIG. Okay, common yan sa hospital lang, IVIG. Marami pinagagamitan yung IVIG na yan. Okay, so that ends our DNA viruses. 
So I have a quick announcement. Ang ating final exam would be on August 1. Paki take note. Final exam is on August 1. Oh, birthday ni Miss Aba. <laughs> birthday ni Miss Aba, magdudusa ka sa akin. Final exam, August 1. Pagpasensyahan mo na. Tapos, ang unang, ang unang, what do you call this? Ang unang makeup class natin ay sa Friday, 21. First makeup class, 21. Tapos, 24, 25, 28. Ang second nating uh, makeup class, which is virtual lang din naman. And then, next meeting, mag-quiz kayo, short quiz kayo. Next meeting, short quiz sa hepatitis and DNA virus. Tapos, sa Friday, discussion ng RNA virus. And then, long quiz kayo sa akin ng 24 ng hepatitides, DNA, and RNA virus. Okay? Yung mga short quiz natin, yung parang ginagawa lang natin dito sa ano, after, right, every after discussion, mag-quiz ng 1 to 10. Ganun lang naman yung sa Friday. But then, yung talagang quiz ninyo na written sa 24. So, ano pag gagawin natin ng 24? Diyan ko na kayo tuturuan mag-BP. So, pakidala po yung mga manual BP ninyo. And kung meron din kayo nung automatic BP, pakidala na din. So, yun po ang activity, na, activity natin right after. And then, 25. 25 reporting ng... Uh, yung group 3, anong report ninyo? Myco... Mycology ba? Yes po. Fungal. Uh, fungal diseases. Fungal diseases. So, 25. And then sa 28, ano bang gagawin natin ng 28? Depende. Iisipin ko pa kung may inject pa akong isang topic na ako mag-discuss or baka hindi na. Uh -oh. Or depende kung kailangan pa natin yung 28 pero standby nyo muna. Wag muna kayong gagawa ng rampa. Wag muna kayong mag-unly wings ng Friday. Please lang. I ano nyo muna. I-vacate nyo muna yung Friday. Ha? Kasi, August 1 is your ano, uh, final exam. Na-take note ba yung mga gagawin natin? Pasend po dun sa GC. Na nandun din si Ma'am Justin. Please lang. Okay? So, kung wala naman na kayong chika, sige na ba, boss? Sir, may tanong ako. Ah, anong tanong mo? Sir, anong oras po sa 25 po? Ano ars po start natin? Magagaling po kasi kami ng face-to-face -face po nun per midterms po. Anong oras? Ay, midterms na pala? Magpapainal um, exam ng August 1. Opo, midterms po namin sa Biofarm. 10 to 12 po, July 25. Lah, ang late nyo naman mag-midterm exam kay sir. Hmm. I might ask, Ma'am Justine, baka mamaya charot-charot lang naman si Ma'am May na August 1 pala ang final exam. Kasi ang sabi niya, hanggang August 2 lang daw ang summer term. Pero I'm not sure. Kasi kung 25 kayo mag e exam eh di one week lang ang finals nyo ng biopark. Pero sige, i-confirm ko yan. Anong oras ba kayo matatapos mag-final, ay mag-midterm exam ng ano, biopark? Yung schedule pa na binigay ni Sir Lilan, 10 to 12 noon po. O, 3 p.m. naman tayo. Siguro naman, no? Alang... Unless, magsa-side trip kayong kumain muna mag-unlivings ulit. Oo, hindi talaga kayo aabot ng 3 p.m. 3 p.m. naman tayo usually. Pwede maging 3.30 kung toxic ulit, katulad ng kanina. Mas ko, dilubyo ito ang araw na to. Ano pa? Meron pa bang chika? May tanong pa? Sir? Mm. Bali sa 21.28 po, 3 p.m. din po. Ah, 3 p.m. Ah. No, meron, ano, meron ba kayong klase ng Friday? Uh, ganun din naman po. So, 10 to 12 per virtual. Ah, okay. So, wala naman pala magiging problem. Oh, ayun. Okay. Yun lang naman. Pakisend yung, ano, yung pinayame. Yung schedule dun sa GC. 
Kung wala nang tan- ah, yung mga pinabalik ko pa lang ano, pinabalik kong index card paki ano, paki paki dala sa 24 at namabigyan ko na ng pirma 'yan. And then magre-release ako ng grade probably on Friday. Probably pa lang 'yon, pero pwede namang Monday ako magre-release ng grade. Depende kung paano magiging toxic ang buhay ko ngayong week. Ayun. Parang feeling ko wala namang babag sa 